5-50. Graph the lines y equals 2x minus 3 and y equals 2x plus 1. And then we'll answer these questions. First of all, where do these two lines intersect? And then we will also solve the system of two equations using the equal values method. And last, we'll explain how the graph and the algebraic solution relate to each other. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and graph these two lines. So um, <clears throat> what I'll do is look at the first line, which is 2x. Here, I'll go ahead and write that down. All right, y equals 2x minus 3. And the second line is y equals 2x plus 1. All right, so the easiest way to start graphing from a rule is to find the y-intercept, which in this case is negative 3. So I'll find that on my graph by going down from the origin on the y-axis. And there's negative 3. And the next thing that I need to do is look at the slope and start plotting additional points on the line. So if I increase by 1, I will increase x by 1. I'll increase y by 2. Increase x by 1. Increase y by 2. And so on. Draw out several. OK, so now I'm ready to um, plot the line or draw the line between these points. All right, and of course I make arrows going in either directions because lines are infinite. And let's do our second line, which is 2x plus 1. So we'll find the y-intercept, which is a positive 1 on the y-axis. Plot that, and we also have a slope of 2. So I'll go over, increase x by 1, go up 2 on the y, x by 1, increase y by 2, x by 1, increase y by 2, and now I have enough points that I can also plot this line. All right, and put arrows on either side. So I'm sure you've noticed something interesting about this line already with these lines already, which are, is that they are parallel. So parallel lines go infinitely in both directions and they will never meet. They're parallel lines. So they will just run side by side um, in both directions and will never actually cross each other. So that is what we're going to put for the answer to A, which is where do they intersect? Well, they don't. So they don't intersect. They are parallel lines. Okay, they're parallel. All right, so um, we're going to go on to B, which is solving using the equal values method. 